Hi, VinCoreWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, March 26th. Cold start to the new work week. Temperatures in the 20s throughout the Mid-Atlantic region, well below normal for this time of the year. We actually had a reinforcing cold shot arrive on Sunday morning. A vigorous uh, upper level feature associated with that new reinforcing cold air shot and it caused some snow showers, even some snow squalls in many areas in the northeastern U.S. Some areas received a, a quick coating on the grass uh, from this influx of cold air. So that kept us below normal on Sunday and we certainly remain below normal today. High temperatures well up, supposed to be well up in the 50s this time of the year but we'll stay primarily in the 40s as we begin the new work week. We do turn milder this week and we turn wetter as well. Uh, perhaps 50 degrees on Tuesday afternoon and then 60 degrees certainly in the I-95 corridor by Thursday afternoon, maybe even on Wednesday in DC and that mild weather will continue into Friday but then a cold frontal system will usher in colder air for the weekend and really a colder pattern will set up again, reestablish itself uh, this weekend and it looks like the first 10 days or so of April will be well below normal not only in the mid-Atlantic region but throughout the northern US and Canada and we'll first start off by taking a look at the uh, longer term here by looking at the 850 millibar temperature anomalies averaged out over a five-day period this is the current five-day period and these are uh, from the ensemble run of the GFS 066Z above normal on average over the next five days and again uh, we start off the week below normal, but we'll get closer to normal on Tuesday and then probably above normal for the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday time frame. Again, with 60 degrees uh, possible for high temperatures Wednesday afternoon in D.C. and uh, certainly in Philly, uh, more likely on Thursday and Friday as well. But Friday brings a cold frontal system. Notice, however, over the next five days, starting to show up here as uh, well below normal up across South Central and Southwestern Canada. Let's now go out to days 6 to 10. Well here we go, this is the 850 temperature anomaly averaged out over days 6 to 10. That colder than normal blob of uh, air expands to the south and east and really uh, no better way to describe it than just a wall of cold enveloping all of southern Canada and the no northern U.S. Again, this is days 6 to 10 as we begin the month of April. April 1st is uh, on Sunday, Easter Sunday here, but just a very expansive area of colder than normal conditions in days 6 to 10. Let's go out even farther in time. And here we go. This is days 11 to 15. It runs from April 5th to April 10th. And just a, a, a very widespread area below normal conditions in the uh, northern U.S. and southern Canada, uh, really focused in on the uh, northeastern U.S. and mid-Atlantic region as well in this time period. So again, we turn warmer this week. It's just a temporary warm-up, especially noticeable in the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, to Friday time frame. But colder pattern reestablishes itself this weekend as we begin the month of April. And it looks like the first 10 days of April will be quite a bit below normal indeed, not only across the uh, northeastern U.S., but throughout the northern U.S. and the southern part of Canada. Let's now take a look at some surface forecast maps. Well, let's walk through the surface forecast maps from the 6Z GFS model run in six-hour increments. First of all, starting off the day here, a key player, strong high pressure to the north and east, gradually pushes off the coast, and that allows for milder air to push northward from the deep south towards the Ohio Valley first and then into the mid-Atlantic region as we progress through the next few days here. But also notice there's several bouts with the shower threat here uh, coming to the mid-Atlantic region as we turn warmer. Beginning as early as late in the day tomorrow, here we are Tuesday afternoon, and especially north of the Mason-Dixon line, there will be a, a threat of showers late tomorrow and tomorrow night. Again, we turn somewhat milder on Tuesday, still below normal by the way, tomorrow uh, for this time of the year, perhaps 50 degrees for highs, but again we should be well up in the 50s in DC, Philadelphia, New York City. Let's move forward uh, into Wednesday afternoon. Still, the threat of showers, a little bit warmer, 
perhaps 60 degrees in D.C., well up in the 50s in Philly uh, and New York City, but the threat of showers. Let's keep moving forward here. Thursday, again, threat of showers, perhaps 60 degrees in Philadelphia in the 60s in D.C., but with that warm-up comes an increasing chance for showers as we progress through, through the next several days here. And then finally, strong cold frontal system slides through the region on Friday to end the work week. That'll usher in colder air for the weekend, and that changes the pattern. Uh, it's associated with a pattern change, and, and again, we start slipping into a colder-than-normal pattern this weekend as we uh, end March and begin the month of April. And it looks like the first 10 days or so of April will be below normal throughout much of the uh, northern U.S. And here we go by the weekend. It uh, Again, a colder air mass. And then we'll have to watch this storm system uh, possibility for Saturday night, Sunday. Right now it looks like it's, uh, it could be cold enough for snow uh, near the Great Lakes, maybe interior northeastern U.S., but not quite that cold in the big cities. We'll continue to monitor that. It's actually a close call here in terms of rain or snow with this potential weekend system Saturday night Sunday time frame but again this all is associated with a pattern change back to colder than normal beginning this weekend and lasting for at least the first 10 days or so of April the next few days we'll see a warm-up but also multiple chances for showers that's it for now for VancouverWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Orient